sort of a lot of people talk about this and i did try and think of a project at the bbc which hadn't had as much exposure but one that was tricky and two i felt mm -hmm. i loved it so much and i wanted to know more about it yeah um the advertising campaign for the 2018 russia world cup oh yeah mm -hmm. so, so when i was watching this i was thinking this is insane mm -hmm. but then when i watched the advert on how it was made yeah. i was i was mind blown yeah absolutely mind blown so the advert well can you tell us a bit about it of course I can. so um so obviously the i mean it's kind of it's shooting fish in a barrel when you're given briefs to advertise world cup coverage it's um, pretty amazing so the world cup's in russia as you said um and we needed to promote uh, the bbc's um uh, broadcast of that so uh what we did we 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 gave the brief um you know obviously there's lots of things the brief needs to do which you know has to cover all the nations and it has to get people excited that aren't necessarily going to automatically tune in to football so uh, we came up with an idea called history is history will be made and um visually we wanted something that was very russian but avoided the cliches of of russian dolls and all, all the all the like because there's that issue when you you bring out ads like that that you know nike and other channels and other brands are all going to bring out their ads for the world yeah. cup at the same time so uh what the creative team did uh ed and zander they uh, found a reference to um uh sort of an embroidery style which um used to be put onto russian uh folk dresses and and jackets you know from the last 100 200 years and it was it felt very russian without being an obvious reference so uh what we did we took uh the idea of uh doing the history of the world cup and you know promising that history will be made uh in mm -hmm. this world cup through the medium of a tapestry um telling the story of the world cup but i suppose the the cute bit and the bit that yourself and, and many people like is the fact that um it took um i can't remember the exact number of frames Six, i think 608 yeah 608 uh yeah. hand stitched uh frames which were then um all photographed individually and spliced together um wow. to make what well, one of the first um, uh, stitched animations, I guess you'd say. So it was a, a labor of love. It took you know, a serious amount of time. I think it was like mm. a quarter of a million kilometers of thread or something ridiculous like that we used. Um, but yeah, that was a, an absolute labor of love. We actually, um, I mean, Tim always said we had to actually make the, the ad three or four times because the animation process, you know, the first ad you do is obviously your animatic, which is like a sketch. And then we had to actually design every single frame, put that together. And then once the ad is approved, then you sort of put your layer of stitching on it. Um, yeah, it was... a absolutely it was a crazy uh undertaking um but absolutely the most gratifying um uh, thing i've ever worked on um so yeah like you say you can you search bbc world cup 2018 you'll you'll find you'll find that ad but uh yeah absolute labor of love um and yeah took craft to levels that you know i've certainly never worked at before and um would probably think twice about attempting it again, but uh, you know, nothing, nothing's, nothing good, um, you know, comes easy. So, and that, mm. that, I think that's what yeah. I think that's what set, sets you guys apart.